Yes, here we go, boys. This is exactly the news I was looking for here to just completely revitalize my faith and beyond. We have the McPlant finally making its debut in the UK, um, although it is only going to be in a few stores, which we're going to get to here. I'm going to read this, although it will be making a full debut um, next year, apparently, uh, according to someone on StockTwits, and they also do mention this in the article here. Um, very briefly, which I think a lot of uh, Wall Street people and analysts just completely overlooked this part here, guys. I think they don't understand. They think it's another temporary thing. But uh, there is just, it was very subtly said that it is going to be rolled out um, across the entire country um, in, in 2022. So again, we're going to get to that here. So fast food giant McDonald's today has debuted its first ever plant-based burger featuring Beyond Meat at an exclusive tasting event. This is ahead of its trial release at the end of the month in the UK and Ireland. Co-developed with vegan meat giant Beyond Meats, the launch will add to the McPlant's range, which I believe is uh, their other range of uh, products that they want to offer. They want to have chicken alternatives and also breakfast sandwiches and whatnot. So, which also could include Beyond, guys, which also could include Beyond. Just not to be, this is huge. This is freaking huge news, guys. And I'm telling you, it is being so overlooked. I think it's Today, the stock was just manipulated the hell out of it. Again, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll get to that in a bit here, but let's just keep reading. So, moreover, the plant-based burger features a vegan sesame seed bun, ketchup, mustard, and vegan sauce. It also includes onions, pickles, lettuce, tomato, and bespoke vegan cheese, So, which is pretty huge because they did launch this in Austria, which I did miss that news somehow, guys. Sorry about that. I guess it slid under the radar there. They just kind of secretly put it on the Austrian menu, um, and it wasn't fully vegan. I believe it had just regular cheese, and I think it was cooked on the same grill as the uh, other burgers here. But as you can see here in a second here, that is not the case with this UK launch. So McDonald's confirmed it will be cooked separately from other offerings with dedicated utensils, and the company is confident it will appeal to all customers so again that's huge guys the the fact that they're having dedicated utensils uh, to avoid cross-contamination which wasn't really a big deal to most vegans in the first place but the fact that they're even doing that is just great so just everyone could just shut up about it oh it's cooked on the same burger as real meats i mean you won't have any of those complaints thankfully so great that they're just paying attention to that detail there again this couldn't go any better so far. Fully vegan, being cooked separately from the other things uh, with dedicated utensils. Again, very, very good news. Um, it is set for release in 10 select restaurants in Coventry from September 29th and in more than 250 sites from October 13th. And here we go, guys. This is the most important sentence of the entire article. This is with a view to rolling it out across the nation next year, which someone on StockTwit said it's going to be for Veganuary, which if you guys don't know, is uh, basically... A pretty big uh, vegan month. Uh, it's just January, but you know, it, it's it's like the new year. People try to be vegan and they call it Veganuary. And there's a lot of these campaigns that go on. And I guess it's pretty big in the UK. And uh, McDonald's is going to be taking part in that uh, Veganuary thing with uh, the rollout of the McPlant. So again, very good news there, guys. Just insanely good news. And with the cherry on top, it'll be available at the same cost as a Big Mac. The same cost. We're at price parity. Okay, so... Are you guys listening here? So we have completely vegan, cooked on dedicated, uh, you know, grills or whatever, separate utensils, uh, will be rolled out across the nation next year, and at price parity with the Big Mac. I mean, this is crazy good news, guys. Insanely good news. Yeah, that's pretty much it here. We can read a bit about it here. I guess somebody uh, tried it here. So the Plant Based News co-founder, Robbie Lockie, was at the tasting event and tried the burger firsthand. They said it was absolutely delicious and that it tasted exactly like a traditional Big Mac burger in all the ways that most people are used to expecting. So again, amazing. That's again what we love to see with Beyond. Uh, they just nail every fast food thing ever. So I mean, I'm expecting this to fully taste like a Big Mac, although I'm not expecting to be able to try it anytime soon because they unfortunately didn't mention rolling this out into the US or any timeline on that. So that I guess is the one bad thing there. We don't have a U.S. timeline. So additionally, the company's chief marketing officer, Michelle Graham, uh, said they're pleased to finally release the McPlant burger. In a statement sent to the PBN, Graham Clare added, as with every McDonald's offering, we take our time to ensure it meets the highest standards and is something that all our customers will enjoy. We're always looking for different ways to innovate and meet our customers' needs. And with the McPlants, we have a delicious plant-based burger that will appeal to everyone. Whether you're vegan or just fancy a plant-based patty, we're confident you will enjoy the McPlant. So there you have it, guys. I mean, just killer news there. And, and actually, even a bigger cherry on top, uh, somebody, again, on StockTwits, guys. If you guys don't follow the StockTwits Beyond Board, guys, it is just 
filled with a ton of information. Like I knew about this info yesterday. Like this came out yesterday on stock twits before any of these mainstream uh, news sites even covered it. And because of that, I was able to buy a call a week out. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit down on it now. I'm down like 30 bucks on it, but I believe that uh, the stock price was heavily manipulated today on this news. And they're just gonna try to, you know, screw all the people who bought call is expiring tomorrow and i believe that they're going to probably pump it next week because wall street just doesn't realize the uh how important this is like how, how great of news this is either that or they do and they're just manipulating it but uh again would love to get uh ethan brown uh, an official press release from beyond meat i did not get that today i was hoping to get one today but uh as we know mcdonald's doesn't really really like beyond to comment on much with them and really step on their toes so i guess i get that but it would have been nice uh, to get more details in an official press release from them. Uh, maybe we'll have uh, an interview on CNBC or something, uh, either from the McDonald's CEO or Ethan, or even have, you know, Ethan on Mad Money or something. I don't know, it would just be great, again, to clarify this. I think uh, next week, Beyond, we'll probably shoot back up above 120. That is my personal prediction. But right here, did I not mention this? I think I might have just completely... Yeah, okay, so I completely skipped over this. So the big thing here, guys, though, is Beyond Meat. Look at this. This is on the Austrian websites. They have Beyond Meat, the logo, right there. So uh, one of the big concerns uh, that Ethan had with uh, McDonald's was that they weren't going to put, you know, the Beyond Meat logo on it. Uh, but right here on the Austrian website, uh, the logo is right here. You know, we have Beyond Meat down here. So this begs the question, uh, did McDonald's finally come around? Are they actually going to, you know, have Beyond Meat's logo now on the thing? Is it going to be on the menu? Again, that would be huge. If this could be on the menu, just the exposure for Beyond is insane in that regard. So again, guys, uh, I guess any of my UK or Austria people, uh, if you see this on the menu at your local McDonald's, and I guess if you could do some DD, take a picture of it. If you see the Beyond Meat logo, uh, just let us know, any of my Austrian audience, if I even have any. But uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Um, I did want to take a look at the Beyond chart here. So yeah, as you can see here, guys, they're really just driving the price down, keeping it down as low as possible for as long as possible. Uh, the market manipulators, you know, they're doing their thing. And uh, that line of support that we talked about the other day, um, we did dip below it today, but we did end up closing above it. So we did close above it, guys. Uh, the RSI is also very low. Uh, I thought I had the RSI up. Actually, let me uh, pull that back up. So the RSI... If you guys don't know, is an indicator. It's uh, the relative strength index. And uh, we are pretty low on the RSI, which, I mean, you know, the RSI it's, doesn't really predict everything. But uh, typically when we dip below 30, we tend to see a bounce there. We are currently we are currently around 38, so I guess we're not too low. Looks like we're going in a slight uptrend here on the RSI. So, so that might be signaling a reversal pattern right there for all we know. So again, guys, uh, very, very happy about this. Uh, again, it's not a trial. It is not a trial, CNBC. It is not a friggin' trial, you morons, idiots at CNBC. This is not a trial. It is clearly stated that it is going nationwide um, next year. So at least in the UK, I mean, and that is huge. I mean, the, the UK is huge. The population there, it's crazy. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. And if you're wondering why I'm in a incognito tab, it's not because I was looking up, you know, Ethan Brown hentai or anything. Uh, I didn't get a little bit too excited or anything about that. But I did. <laughs> I'm just doing that because I'm back in school and I have all my other tabs open. And I just didn't want all my school tabs to be in the way. So I just did an incognito window. And I still don't know how to uh, crop uh, with the webcam to just, like, take the tabs out of the screen. I just haven't been able to figure out how to do that, so that's why it shows my entire screen because I'm a boomer, I guess, and I can't figure out with OBS uh, how to just crop a certain section. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to do it. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you guys think of this news in the comments. Just incredibly amazing news. But uh, with that being said, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.